I have this vintage sewing machine drawer. I picked up a bunch of them from a yard sale at one point in time. And I'm going to start by applying our Wise Owl white primer to the entire drawer. And I'm using a Gen Foam brush. It's a great inexpensive option for applying primer, paint, and even top coats. And I did do two coats. Once fully dry, I give everything a good sanding. And now I'm going to be using my one hour enamel and our new tissue paper, dark lace floral. This particular type of tissue paper from Redesign by Prima is very easy to work with. It almost feels like a dryer sheet. It doesn't wrinkle. Um, so if you're a beginner, this is the tissue paper for you. This comes with two panels and it just has pretty lace, um, some French writing, different florals, kind of a darker and a mix of some dark background and some lighter background. It's a really, really pretty uh, paper. So I'm gonna start by applying my one hour enamel and laying down the tissue. You can either use a uh, razor blade now or a pair of scissors and I just try to cut off some excess there was a little jog in the back of that drawer that I had to shape around and this can be done either wet or dry and I'm going to the other side and, and applying another panel And this side you can see has a little bit more of the darker green with the lace and florals. But this is all part of the same tissue paper. And once my paper's down, I'm going to apply the one hour enamel on top. Now the primer is important because I'm using, you know, an antique type piece of wood and you don't want any bleed through. And also using a lighter paint underneath paper or tissue or any of your transfers just allows the image to stay nice and bright. As they are a little bit see-through. I'm going to cut out a panel for the back end of this drawer. And see how I was able to lift it back up? That's how durable this paper is. You can lay it down, lift it up, and I did that on glue. So I'm just going to use a razor blade to cut around this. Again, I could wait till it dries, but I just decided to get some of that off now. And then apply my final coat of the one hour enamel. Now I'm going to let all this dry. Once dry, I'm going to take a piece of sandpaper, um, about 100 grit works good, but you want to make sure you're just hitting that edge and it's just taking off any excess tissue paper that's hanging over your edges. Again, this is dry, it becomes stiff and you want to try to avoid hitting the image. You just want to get right on that edge and it just takes the excess off. and leaves you with nice clean lines. So now the front of the drawer I'm going to paint with dry time. It's a really pretty green. And 
I went ahead and painted the inside of the drawer, the green as well, and the outer rim. Once dry, I'm going to do a coat of the one hour enamel all over my drawer, um, the freshly painted green underneath, and I'm going to hit my entire image one last time. Once fully dry, I'm just taking a very little bit of white, it's almost like a dry brush, I'm making sure my brush is very dry with the white, and I'm just going around that raised area on the front drawer, the detail, just to bring that forth as it's very, very pretty. And now I grab these knobs. I got them at Lowe's. They're just little black knobs. And I'm not going to be using the screws. I'm going to be using E6000. Once I, you know, kind of figure out where I'm going to put these. And I'm going to use these for little stands on the bottom of my box. I found these cans at Michael's, but you can use regular soup cans. And I'm painting these with Snow Owl by Wise Owl. And I have three of them. And I gave them two coats. And now my box is done. I'm going to place these cans inside my box and you can fill it with either art supplies, planter, or you can use it for sporks, spoon, and knife. I really hope you really enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. For any paint products, tissue paper, or transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitafancy.com. Thank you.